Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and first of all, let's look at our to-do list. I think we're going to go for yellow science today and um, this has many components. If we look at yellow science, we see that uh, we need processing units, which we don't have. We need low density structures, which uh, we don't have. Uh, we also need guess what else we need? Flying robot frames. So that's something that we can set up. Now this whole thing is, I think we do not want to cannibalize this structure or siphon off of it for yellow science. We're just going to copy this and paste it and get our yellow science going. Now we do have a tiny little, um, diagram here. This is from kirkmcdonald.github.io and I've set it for yellow science. We want one item per second based on these little assembling machines. And so that kind of gives us a relative amount of stuff we want to have. I believe these are something like 27 uh, low density structures. And then we're going to have a few blue circuit assembles. We're going to have about 14 of them because we want more blue circuits to make modules and stuff rather than just making those. So we're going to set that up as a separate uh, little thingy there. Uh, as, you know, it's basically an intermediate product that we can use for a number of things. Um, if you look on my screen here, I have added a few more different stuff that I just want in my inventory for the bots to give to me. I'm going to try to use no nanobots, but I'm going to keep them for when I go out into the wild. But overall, the uh, the bots in the base can do stuff for me and I don't mind uh, that happening. They can go ahead and place things, uh, you know, when we have the ghosts and stuff like that. So the first thing we might as well do is just copy and paste this entire thing. Uh, let's go ahead and copy this up to the point of, I guess, right there. Sure. And then we'll just add it right here. And we'll leave a tiny bit of space. We do want to make sure that we are in robot range. You can see this is our range currently. And uh, we'll add more roboports as we need. Actually, we can add one here because it's a nice big empty space. And um, yeah, great, great spot to have them. There we go. Put that up there. And then we're going to copy the bus because <laughs> we can actually do that. Actually, just copy the whole bus uh, where we are taking split offs and stuff and just paste them in where they need to go. Uh, let's see, this one probably goes there, I think. So let's just delete some of this. Let's delete the bits that are there. Okay, our bots are going to try to work out uh, how to help us best. So this, put that where it needs to go. Boom, nice. Okay, works. Excellent. And we can help them out here and just Add a few more things like, for example, this, this actually might be better than just that power pole and we can connect it and have a little bit more of a robust structure there. We can also handily copy this stuff. We can copy tiles. Uh, however, I did forget to put a passive provider chest. So what we can do is be extremely sneaky. Since we did extend our robo robot network all the way down here, guess what we can do? We can take an upgrade planner and say from iron chest to passive provider chest. And this will give us this ability to have these also make that one a passive provider. And I think that's all we need. I don't think we need anything else to be. Oh, this could be a storage chest. So let's change this up and say, change this to storage. And then we'll upgrade this one to a storage chest. So that stuff can get recycled uh, sometime in the future. Are there any other chests laying around? Ah, nanobots. Hello. So let me take this off. Passive provider. Boom. We can now get nanobots delivered to us. This is fantastic. We are now extremely happy about the situation. All right, and the bots are gonna construct all this stuff for us. Oh, but not if we can't get these cliffs out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw those, boom. Because I think that is another thing that we need to upgrade. Let's go to map mode again and I'm gonna upgrade this guy to a passive provider chest. So because the, the bots can also destroy those too. 
pen. Fantastic. Perfect. Look at this. This is great. Whoa. We, we should just do some base maintenance here. I think this would be good. So let's go ahead and look and uh, go to map mode. Here we go. We can get this entire path sorted. Finally. Um, wow. We need to just this path. I think it extended all the way underneath this thing. The problem, if you, if you hold down shift and click, it will replace stuff. But if you use the A, sometimes it skips. So let's see if it skipped any. No, it's actually perfect. What you have to do is if you, if you copy a thing like, uh, you know, a couple of tiles, it has a chance of skipping. Did it skip? <gasps> no, I wonder if the devs fixed that. I don't know. It looks cool though, but I like to have a long kind of wide thing that we can go over the top with. But anyway, the bots are now going to fix this for us and they're, we're going to, they're going to be really happy about being able to help us. Did they fix it? No. Ah, you see, there we go with a two tile thing. It sometimes skips and gives us gaps. So the best thing with that is just to do a bigger swatch here. Let's go and do that for us. Oh, that's a bad, bad gappy thing. All right. It's fine though. We are going to fix it. We're just shift clicking and pressing. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah. Shift and click over this blueprint. So they're going to, they're going to put tiles down on all this space. And that's what I was talking about in the last episode of not needing a billion bots. Let's see how many we have 150 construction robots currently. And, um, are we still making more? What do we need? Oh yeah, we're needing uh, robot frames and it's slow, but hey, we have 150 you know, construction bots, 167 logistics bots. So we've already made almost uh, or over 300 bots in the time that we have just been since the last episode. Now, one important thing is if you're running out of power and we aren't, we're doing okay. We have plenty of production value coming in. Um, you can go for separating the uranium stuff into 235 and 238. I debated about whether I wanted to set that up now because for nuclear power, you need 40 of the uranium 238 or 235, the gold or the, the bright colored one, the glowy one. Um, so if you're running out of power, go ahead and grab this, uh, uranium mine and get that starting producing right now. I felt like it was more important to do yellow science because I'm greedy for stuff. <laughs> so, so we're going to do yellow science today. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, let's connect this guy as well. Oopsies. Do we need that? Yeah, we do. Um, but yeah, it, you know, and stuff can happen in the background. I love this game because there's so much stuff. You can just set it up, let it go, and it builds while you're doing other things. This is definitely one of those things. Now, okay, so we have built the bots. Now, what I want to do is build the other bits and pieces. I think we need to, we need to make blue circuits and we're running out of space. No. I thought we'd have enough space, but we could kind of continue on here if we want to like turn the bus this way. I think that's actually an okay thing to do. Why not? Let's do it. Let's turn the bus. We're going to turn this bus. Now, how many lanes do I need after plastic? I have two. So that, oh, oh, excuse me. There's a lot of cliffs here. We need to get rid of these cliffs. That's for sure. Let us go ahead and destroy all of nature uh, over here. We need to get this out of the way and also cliffs. I think, can we delete those cliffs? Are those marked for deconstruction? I don't know. Let's see. Let's mark them. No, we don't even mark them. We're just going to bomb them here because we're just going to make a massive kind of corner in our bus. Oh, no, those are trees blocking me, not cliffs. Don't blame the cliffs for everything. KOS. They're not all, all consuming the problem. All right. Um, yeah, this is a good spot to turn stuff, I think. So we have a belt coming here and here. We have those two. And I think these can just be turned like this. Like this one can go this way. Um, and then we want to leave two spaces. One, two. I hope this will all fit. You know what? The better thing to do, maybe, is to copy the lanes that we have 
Okay, we know where that one is. That's going to be here. Just make sure we can fit this. I have a really... I don't like landfills. That's one of the reasons we're doing this this way. Uh, is because landfill is not... It's like, yeah, yuck. I, I try to let... I, well, cliffs are fine, but I don't like to destroy the water because I like the natural features. I like it being irregular. I like, um, you know, I don't like square stuff all over the place. It looks horrible to me. So we are just going to make all the things and all the stuffs. And one cool thing we're going to do right now is make a corner. So let's get these guys up. And then I like to put the belts in the direction that they're going, where the turn is. And then you just add belts in between them. And you can see that we already have the corner here. And what you can do with that is just copy this section and then move the next section up like uh, that. Wait, hold on. No, is this is this a proper thing, Imaji? Yes, it is. It is. Do not panic. There we go. So that corner is going to go there. And then we're going to have another... Well, actually, we can copy this wholesale because we need two corners now. We need this one or just use that alignment for that. And then one over here. And I hope that aligns or else I'm going to be like, you know... Eggs or Lafosse, the kind of thing. Yeah, there we go. Yay. All right. And we don't actually have anything on these belts. They don't need to be placed, those particular ones. But wait. Oh, no. Something got misaligned here. Oh, look at this. This is a mistake. Okay. We need to X this because it is out. It is in the wrong space. Oh, because wait, wait a second. Something strange happened here. This one is in the wrong spot. Okay, so this needs to move over because it wasn't two spaces over. We need to make sure that it's two spaces. Um, uh, control, what? To erase? This. This to erase. Yay! Because Xing wasn't doing it. So let's control copy. There we go. And get this one over here. So... You know, you can landfill it. It's really up to you what you want to do. And it's just entirely per personal preference. It really is. So don't worry about, uh, you know, doing stuff. You do it the way you want to. I really uh, like to promote that. You don't have to do it the way anybody else does it. You just do it the way you want to do it. Factoria is a game where everybody has their own preferences and no one person is right about anything, even me. <laughs> so do what you want to do, because I think it's so much more fun to do it that way. It's just lovely and uh, much more, much more interesting. Okay, so you, no. All right, take some power poles through, through the jungle here. Let's be brave. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. Almost like hieroglyphics on the bus here. Fantastic. Looking beautiful. And I think we're going to have the rest of science going up here. So I do want to erase some of these cliffs here. Okay, that's a rock, not a cliff. Don't get too excited, KOS. Don't get too excited. Um, all right, so copy this whole thing. And that, this is going to be our bus getting extended to the left. So let's just go ahead and do this. And the bots can kind of work on this stuff over time. Uh, remember, they're only going to... Do things that are in the construction zone. I think I'm going to put this down manually. There we go. And so that we can get stuff going. I do want to place something like, I don't know, right around here-ish. Yeah, that looks good. So now we get to kind of try to work in bounds here with our vanilla bots. I'm excited about vanilla bots. They're so nice. I'm sure you heard me just like squeeing over them in the last episode. It was really good. <laughs> All right. In this area, we have a lot of room to expand to the right. And I think we're going to start with blue circuits. Blue circuits are fun. I really like um, this particular build. Let's see. I want to, we need to get these guys going somewhere. Mm, we'll figure it out. Anyway, let's go ahead and get blue circuits going. Let's see, put a belt, put that one there. We need to have a belt coming out, which is going to be here. Yes. 
And then the, the build I like for this is this way. We have these and we place the sulfuric acid intake in the center. And then we have the little pipe going this way. We have the pipes going this way. And this allows us to have an output down here for this. Uh, and also a power pole in the middle that covers all of everything, all the things. It's great. Now then, we want to have, um, we need fast inserters to take from here. And we also need these guys. We need the long handed to take from the second belt. These particular blue chips, they need a ton of stuff. They need 20. Yes, you read that right. 20 green circuits each. That's crazy. It's lots. Uh, not to mention all the green circuits that are going into the red circuits. So that one obviously is going to be on the bottom belt. Do we have, I wonder if we have regular, um, let's find out. Let's find out. Do we have stack inserters? We probably do. Let's have 50 of them on us. Let's see. Uh, we might get some soon. Are we in, we just want to make sure that when we're working, we are in um, the orange area so that we get all the things we need. Let's go and look at the mall and see if those are being made. Yes, they are. And they're in a chest. So our bots are going to come and deliver those to us shortly. Uh, right now, though, we don't have to worry about that too much. Let's go ahead and just get these bits here. And then this one goes out. So. And blue circuits I have um, on the bus around here right there and i'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more on there so we can have a here oh my god nature too much nature go away nature bye bye um and then we're gonna get these guys going this way and then downward as well so we're gonna have some stuff that we need to take back to the mall for stuff Oh, and that's another thing we can work on. Hey, stuff. Hey, mall. How you doing? Uh, we're going to go and grab our mall blueprint. Get the mid-game mall. This is all done. So now, with all of this stuff, we can... Oh, oh you know what else I didn't do? Mm, I need to do those in the instructions, too. Let's fix that. And I'm going <laughs> to re-upload this. Whoops. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, the cool thing about this is you can do this multiple times over the same area and it will work because it's not going to upgrade um, reds to blues because it has these conditions there. Okay, let's see. We need this, these assembly machines to blue ones. That's kind of important. So let's go and grab this now and upgrade all the machines correctly to the right stuff. You can see they're highlighted there. Boom. And so the bots should hopefully do this. Let's see how many bots do we have. We have 200 bots and they are working like mad doing all the stuff and the things. And now that we should be able to plop the mall design over it anyway. I think it should be fine. Uh, if not, we can replop it. But I do want them to work on the side stuff because we are going to have some neat stuff coming in there. Oh, boy. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, that's that's fine. That belt on the edge uh, stuff doesn't really go there. So I think it should be good. We do have a tiny bit of a, an inconvenience there with this thing. This stuff here. We probably need to delete this and go something like this. Can I can I can I do that? Maybe. I don't know, but we'll figure it out and then delete this guy and uh, have the red kind of like a red underground. Is that too long? It might be too long, but we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. But in this kind of case, these poor bots have to grab all the plastic off of this uh, before they can actually pick up this stuff. So when you're deconstructing stuff like furnaces, which can hold a hundred items each, it's better to pick them up yourself. Just mine them yourself. Uh, instead of using the bots for that. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. We can just... We can start... Uh, I'll wait for them. Wait for them to do stuff. Now then. Back to blue circuits. 
did we get stack inserters? We did. Hey, hi, stack inserters. How you doing? I'm going to take off, let's take off this, these tanks and put our stack inserters on. I also want to put on, now normally I switch to red belts by this point, but I don't actually feel that we need them. Um, we don't have the throughput to need red belts, so we might as well not even deal with them. Uh, let's see, take this one off. I would really like to have some, actually chests. I don't know. I don't know what to take off. Let's take these guys off. Grenades. Yeah, that can go off. Let's put this one down there and then maybe put our three chest types here. We're going to have these guys. We're going to have storage chests and then the green ones, not green ones, blue ones, blue ones, requesters right there. Yeah, that seems better. All right, let's get these guys going. All right, so we have our blue things, our lines going there ready to accept materials now then it looks like we are really running short of green circuits that is not ideal that's really not ideal because this should be able to support stuff and what we need to do is probably just increase our green circuit making capacity now we do want to get that power pull back so let's add this somewhere like here is good it's decent all right and now this one, we need to add a, hmm, we want to add a split off here with a half and half there. And then we'll go there. All right. That's perfect. Actually, we'll add this one here and take the belt that way. All right. So this one is going to be our red circuits coming in right there this okay good this is because we need so many green circuits for each of these guys this is just going to give us the throughput to have one belt and a half of green circuits and then half a belt of red circuits this is going to be sulfuric acid so let's go and grab that on the bus here i don't know no we did not take sulfuric acid all the way we might want to start doing that actually get all of these things because we have sort of neglected that just a tiny bit Jeez. oh oh my god look what the devs did oh thank you devs i love you that's nice you see what i'm doing i am deleting under the mouse cursor that didn't used to be possible and it drove me nuts so yay thank you devs hooray you're wonderful yay all right <laughs> sorry but i am excited about this this is great Great, fantastic, nice, yay. Um, all right, we're just gonna like try to put these between. We might remove some of these guys because they're a tiny bit redundant. All right, there we go. Just get that there. Okay, control V and take them here and up and up. There we go, nice. Now then, can we remember which one is sulfuric acid? Not really. This one, okay. So it's the second one. So this one is gonna go here. Okay, and that's gonna give us stuff for here. Now that we wanna make, I think, let me just look at my sheet. We're gonna make 14 makers of this at the very least. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste them over. That's four, six. Oh no, 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 no. Oops, I accidentally hit my mouse wheel there. Where? Not that way. Okay. So that's uh, six. And copy. It's going to be 12. Copy. And 14. All right. Boom. Done. Blue circuits are done. Next thing we want to make is going to be the low density structures which are, they need stuff. Here we go. 20 copper plates. This is gonna absolutely kill our copper. We need two steel plate and five plastic bars. Now, speaking of plastic bars, let's go and check back at the mall here at this construction that we wanted to do. Okay, that doesn't work as well as I wanted it to. Hmm. 
can we? <sighs> Let me just delete both of these things and figure out where we can put stuff after we put the blueprint in, shall we? I mean, we could do some sneaky things with belt braiding here. I don't really want to do it, but we can. We could also remove all of this since we no longer need this entire section here and route the pipes straight in instead of going this crazy squirrely spaghetti way. Um, let's see. Can we? All right. Good. Good. Let's place the blueprint down for the mall. Hello, mall. Yeah, because I want that plastic to keep flowing. This is a bit not good. <laughs> There we go. And everything is purple. Beautiful. So how can we sneak stuff in here? Oh, we can't. Uh, maybe. No, I don't think we can do this. That, uh, yeah, we need some belt braiding down there. All right, it's fine. Um, I don't want to go down there. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do stuff up here. Let's do the low density structures. These guys can actually start working now. So that can get going. <laughs> Look at the green circuits. There's like no more green circuits left. Why are there no more green circuits left? Hello? Huh? Oh no! There's very little iron coming through because it's all feeding this iron. Oh, we have problems, everyone. This is great. Okay, this is fantastic. We'll get a few circuits um, and we'll barely make some yellow science, but we're going to get it done. Anyway, these guys need stuff. What I like to do with an array like this is have, um, yeah, five copper. Oh my God. So much copper plate and plastic bars. I like to have like two central thingies and then these, the, uh, product comes on the outside like this kind of thing. There we go. And we'll make low density structures. How long do these take to make 20 seconds crafting time? That's a lot. So we can do this, okay. And we wanna do this and they go out that way. So we'll have copper coming in on one of these guys and then half and half of the other ones coming in on the other side. And it doesn't matter which because these are gonna be on either side of the belts. So these guys are gonna come in this way and then take a turn and then go like that. Yeah, ish. And this is going to come like this. And again, we're going to just use our splitter to make stuff happen. All right, this is perfect. So copy this. Um, oh, except for we need power poles. Let's put the power poles in. And now we can copy this. We are. Yes, no, yes. And if you are feeling, um, you know, like you want to change where the power poles are, feel free. There's no net, there's no specific requirement to have them as they are. I know some people like to have them aligned in squares or triangles or whatever. Um, but yeah, here we go. Now let's see, we have, let's see, 27, we need 27 blue assemblers for these guys. So that is going to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 12. This is going to be 24. So 25, 26, 27. So let's go ahead and just grab one more set of two or four, actually, I should say. Oh, okay. Whoops. I forgot to press shift. Shift enables you to delete things like trees underneath. All right. And let's start feeding this guy. Ah, oh, we have tricky things. All right, so this is one of the detriments of having this on the <laughs> on the corner, which is not ideal at all. Not ideal at all. Let's see. Steel comes from here, and we also need plastic. That's way down there. Um, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to do this here. This is going to be okay. Then we'll have steel coming out on this side. Like this. Yes. Okay, good. And that one goes there. And this is a 
thing like this. There we go. And that one goes there. Now, we need to figure out how to get plastic up here. And it's going to be tricky. This is a gap. That's a gap. So, what we could do is... Uh... <laughs> is something different. Is something not this. Let's see. This is actually sneaky. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this plastic and go up. And let's figure it out as we go. Because this is actually an interesting problem. I love belt shenanigans and fun stuff. So that's what we're going to do here is some crazy stuff. Uh, I think... So that's a split. That's fine. We need to split... This is the end belt here, so that's okay. What if we did... Like this? I need to have a gap. Like that. Okay. Oh, this is this is okay. We can do this. Yeah. Alright. Nice. Let's take that down. This one here. That one goes there. And this can sneakify itself in... Oh, look at that. Is that not beautiful? This is crazy. Beautiful. Nice. Spaghetti. Primo. Primo tangly spaghetti. This is great. Alright. And the output comes out here. And we'll take these. Now this kind of thing, we really don't need lane balancing. I think I've explained this before, but if one lane gets backed up and it's only working on half... It's okay. Half the factories will work. If you lane balance this thing with one of the balancer thingies, you just make, instead of the whole row work, you make um, half of each row work. So it really doesn't matter to have this lane balanced at all. Um, especially since they are providing to both sides of the belt. Oh, we have our first little pieces coming out. And as you can see, they are on both sides of the belt. Now, low density structures, I have catalog oh nice it's supposed to go on that belt over there so let's see how can we do this we can be extra sneaky oh my god this is more spaghetti this is this is actually really good spaghetti right here this is this is so good somebody mentioned something about like oh kos just has everything so neat and organized and i do try i really do and um sometimes though you have to make spaghetti stuff. And the problem I think we're seeing with this is that we have a, um, oh, oh, well, that's not right. This one is not right. There we go. You have landscape. And I like having a landscape that challenges me, that looks interesting to me. So yeah, absolutely. We are going to have some spaghetti because every map is different. Yeah, and I love it. It's great. Okay, so this is happening. This is absolutely perfect. Now, I want to go back down to the mall and figure out that section there. Because we do need plastic or else we're not going to get anything uh, continuing to, to build. So, I, I thinking about I thinking about moving that. Not good thing. Go, go. Bye, bye. We have so much science, uh, which is working right now for us. Uh, we do need to hook up all this stuff. Let's go ahead and sort this thing out because this is a mess. This is not good. All right. This, hmm. Yeah. Not good. We're going to belt braid at this, I, I think. Let's go here like that. So here, we're going to just do something called belt braiding, which is using undergroundies to move materials okay and let's see get rid of this because that doesn't belong there um but when you use different colors of belts they don't interact with each other so it's kind of cool so what we're going to do here is take this one up and we're going to use red undergroundies here to move this along and you can actually have three braided at one time Okay, go, go, go. And all right, we need one more. Oh, no, we don't. We need to just take this out. And this will go here. And there we go. 
iron going in one direction, plastic going in the other direction. Fantastic stuff. You can also braid them in the same direction. That's what I usually do for things like science. I don't Did we do that? No, we didn't do that. But belt braiding is really, really super useful for all for, for all kinds of stuff, especially when you find yourself kind of like out of room for all the things. So yeah, all right, let's get rid of this. Okay, we have some of this going on. We do need to hook up the rest of this stuff. I don't think we're going to get to yellow science today, um, but it's good that we made progress because we have both of the intermediate product products now for it. All right, take this here. Sure. And we'll go ahead and move those as well. All right, so what do we have here? We have batteries, and we also need low-density structures and concrete. Okay, there's where our concrete goes. Oh, gosh. Silly me. Don't do that, KOS. No, no. Bad. The bad is bad. There we go. And the bots should be bringing me stuff as I am going through it. Um, all right. What do we need here? We need this thing. Oops, not there. Here to go there. And this one can be a yellow. Oh, this is going to be a sneaky. All right. Let's see. Blue circuits and batteries. I don't know if we took those lines down. Actually, we didn't take this one down for sure. Let's make sure that we have this. And then we'll bring blue circuits down as we get the other one going. I forgot we, that we needed blue, uh, low density structures down here as well. All right, let's go, go, go. No, tree. Go away. Okay, let's get rid of this tree. And we need for this to be a splitter instead. Let's grab this one, go there, and take that one down. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, bad. There you go. Better. And then blue circuits are going to come down this way. Nice. Buses are kind of tricky because you often have belts that go in opposite directions. Now, it's really important that we don't have these lines running into any other lines that we've put down because it's going to mess up uh, the production line in most cases. Oh, and batteries. Hello, batteries. Wait, where are we? Okay, we need to go down a tiny bit more because mall. And this one goes here. Nice. Okay, why do I not have any more belts? Am I out of the zone? Oh, no, I'm out of the zone. Okay, I'm going to stand here and the bots should hopefully give me stuff. I hope I can reach. No, I have no more. Oh, no. All right, well, we can draw it for the bots. Okay, bots, take it down. Um, all right, so most of those things. Okay, it's right down there. No big deal at all. And the cool thing is you issue these orders for the bots and it doesn't take that long for them to get to it and make stuff for you. So it's great. Let's see. Down here. Here's where we need stuff. So I'll take that down there. Yep, they've already brought me a whole bunch of belts, which is great. Okay. That comes down this way. And I've kind of forgotten which one is which. I know this one is low-density structures. So we'll just figure out which goes where get everything sorted all right so we have batteries and blue circuits i know blue circuits are here so that one's going to be this thing all right there we go now where are the batteries which which line are those let's go and look that's this line so basically these two lines need to be combined together um See if I can remember how to do this, this direction. No, I need one more space. There we go. We need to do this kind of thing. Uh, it's a little bit sneaky because of that, but it's it'll work still. Just going to do this in reverse. Okay. All right. So, hmm. Take this one this way. And is this a break? This is a break between thingy so that she can just go there which is nice now this one is concrete and low density structures okay so we want to do uh, 
We want to do some very long distance shenanigans here. But we don't need to do too many bad boy things here. Okay, there we go. So low density structures are going to come down here. Uh, and concrete is going to come up this way. So we can go take this down and go get our concrete from concrete land. Oh, it's right over here. Concrete land is here. No, no, not here. Not here. It's somewhere. It is somewhere. Concrete is not really a huge resource. You do need it for nuclear reactors. But if you let those build over time, uh, you shouldn't have any issues. You might want to build more than just two concrete makers. But at the moment, I'm not going to be worried about it too much. Um, okay, what I want to do with this, I think, I want to turn this belt that way. And we're going to get this belt this way. And we're going to actually connect up the belt to the bus. Hold up. Just a second thingy. There we go. That's better. And we're going to grab a... Let's see. I forget how far these are from the world here. They are at the edge of the concrete. Alright, that's fine. Like here. We'll take them like that. Oh, well, that didn't work very well, did it? Okay. <laughs> I can just make this yellow at that rate. So that's fine. Um, there we go. Here we are. Ah, this is a tiny bit of a problem there. This one needs to connect all the way up there. Yes, maybe. Okay. Anyway, this is going to be our concrete production going that way. And, um, yeah, it is very slow. These guys are not moving fast. And, uh, but that's okay. Like I said, it's not necessary at the moment. We may improve that over time. We could also adjust the inserter to be a little bit more, I don't know, bus friendly. But yeah, not necessary at the moment. All right, so what do we got here? We do have our batteries. We do have blue circuits coming in because we don't have enough green chips. We don't have a lot of blue circuits. We're going to have to really Im increase our production, I think. All right, so this one we decided is these two lines. And I think what we can do here is literally just have them collide um, and just go into this thing like this. Because this is kind of the end of the line for both of these products. And in my mall, my particular mall, you don't have, to, it doesn't matter what side of the belt they're on. It's just fine. All right. What do we got down here? Anything that needs, nope. Whole mall is ready to go. This is exciting. Okay. Um, I think one thing that we can do is, did we research the nuclear power? We didn't. So this is going to enable us to build those nuclear reactors. Yeah. 500 concrete, 500 circuits, steel plates, and copper plates. Wow. Lots of stuff. We want to start this research so that we can um, put them in our mall. They belong in this area right over here. We have uh, centrifuges here, as you can see. Oh, wow. These need concrete, too. So we may need to increase our production. I feel like it's very much lacking. Look at the belt. Yeah, not good. Not good. Let's go ahead and increase that real quick. Uh, because it's something that we are going to need over time. And... What we're going to do here, I think, is just, we're going to remove this, cut that, and then place this, I don't know, here? Sure. How about put it there? That's fine. And the bots are going to help us fix this right now. Um, and then we need to remove this whole thing, I think, as well. Oh, boy. That's a lot of concrete in there. <laughs> we don't want to. Let's um, let's delete this, and then get this whole thing going. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pick stuff up, bots. Get going with this, please. Come on. Don't be lazy. Get going on this. And then, of course, extend these two belts as well. Go. All right, nice. And then we can just copy this and we should have functioning stuff and life is going to be better. Come on, go, go. Get going, bots. I can't see what I'm doing unless you get your stuff in order. Uh, it looks like we only have space for one more machine, so we'll just do it that way. 
Let's take that off. And yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That'll work. And then this needs to be removed. Actually, this thing, if we don't deconstruct those things, I think what I want to do is just output that for now on that belt. And we're going to have our splitter right here. And we can put some concrete in a chest, maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe don't, we don't need it in a chest. I'm not sure how um, needed that's going to be. But this is looking great so far. Really happy about this. Yep, it does put it in the correct orientation. That is so nice. This game has really nice quality of life features. It's so good. All right, let's go ahead and make sure that this is connected as well. There we go. And you go there. Uh, and that's good. And this is the part that needs the other bits. Okay, this is all within the green construction zone. So this is going to get sorted very shortly. But the bots are like working on emptying this chest of the refined concrete. And all of that is going to go into storage chests. So I want to make sure that we have enough storage chests. Because we've been doing some kind of major building works. Oh yeah, look at these. We only have six storage chests. Or maybe one more. Yeah, that one is a storage. And um, maybe one down by the other things. And they store a heck of a lot of stuff. Um, once we get requester chest, we will get this stuff and recycle them. And life will be very, very, very much better. Oh, look at this. A single blue circuit. The sad times are really real. Now that we have nuclear power done, let's just press T to clear that flashing. And we'll go into our blueprints. And that's it. Nuclear. No, not nuclear. Malls. We want malls. Hooray. And we will go ahead and re- uh, blueprint this and just it added all of the nuclear stuff in here isn't this tasty so now we're going to be able to get these um, and get our nuclear reactor going hopefully online and it's going to eat all of this lovely concrete I might think about actually adding a splitter here uh, maybe I'll do that because <laughs> this is uh, yeah a tiny bit annoying Let's add this and add another one there so that we get some of the concrete entering uh, into the assembly machine here for the centrifuge. So um, I will update this blueprint to reflect that because that's kind of a nice little thing that we can do there and make sure that the reactors don't get every, every single thing. So anyway, I think that this is a good place to end this episode for today. I'm very happy with our progress. We are going to do our yellow science in the next episode and get all of that going, possibly even set up our new science lab system. So thank you so much for being here. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.